it is finished greetings to you in the precious name of our lord jesus christ welcome to the 39th day of a journey from wilderness to calvary my dear brothers and sisters today we are celebrating the good friday until jesus was put on the cross the friday was a normal friday for some it could have been a bad friday but from the time jesus was put on the cross it has become a good friday no doubt on the friday the jesus was put on the cross the disciples thought that it was a bad friday for them all those people who believed in jesus and in his powers thought a bad friday it was also bad friday for all those women who accompanied jesus and all those who supported him in various ways my dear brothers and sisters this good this friday became a good friday after jesus resurrected this friday had a meaning only when christ rose from death well my dear brothers and sisters our focus is not on to the resurrection but our focus is to reflect upon the cross what are the beautiful things that happened on the good friday on the cross my dear brothers and sisters there were eight things that happened on the cross the good things happened on the cross for the humanity the first thing that we hear from the gospel of uh, st john chapter 19 clearly explains from 16 and words the first thing the first good thing that happened was that jesus willingly accepted the cross he was not hesitating to take up the cross rather he willingly accepted and he willingly took up the cross in other words jesus kissed the cross jesus kissed the suffering jesus invited suffering to onto himself well my brothers and sisters that's why we call jesus as a majestic victor a victorious person and all those who believe in jesus all those who undergo sufferings or pains and accept the situations as they come they will be victorious and the second beautiful thing that happened on the cross was jesus being sacrificed between two sinners between two thieves one on the right who is just man and who is on the left unjust man between these two hung jesus my brothers and sisters this just man and unjust man shows us that the world is surrounded jesus was surrounded by the good as well as bad my dear brothers and sisters for them jesus dying in between them shows that he is for the good and for the bad he was hung on the cross for even those people who are there on the right and the left for the good and the bad how privileged we are my dear brothers and sisters in in a material who you are what we are whether good or bad jesus has hung on the cross for all of us and third beautiful thing that we hear on the cross was the title jesus the king of jews but as the chief priest told them not to write uh, the king of jews but he claimed to be the king of jews whether they wrote it ignorantly or 
they wrote it just for the sake of fun but the fact is that Jesus was the king of Jews not a king who was ruling the world but a king who has conquered the world by his simplicity by his love by his forgiveness and the fourth thing that we find on the cross the beautiful thing is the disciples fighting for the cloak of Jesus or the coat of Jesus the coat that Jesus wore you know it symbolizes the the priestly dress or the mediator dress but the brothers and sisters the soldiers were supposed to share the garments with his mother they rather did not do that as jesus was hung on the cross these people who shared his clothes and made his mother sidelined invites us to reflect two points jesus mother mary was standing by the cross yet the soldiers showed no compassion whatsoever in sharing his belongings with her the seamless coat or outer garment was one piece of cloth woven from the top of the bottom the garment or the rope was identical to the rope of the high priest it symbolized christ the mediator the pontifex my dear brothers and sisters this mediator jesus christ who is who builds a gap between god and all of us and the fifth thing beautiful beautiful thing that has happened was jesus caring for his mother and at the same time caring for others even at the point of his death at the point of losing or completely losing himself he still thinks of others he thought about his mother he thought about his disciple he thought about their loneliness and gave them company but the brothers and sisters god cares for all of us even in the most bitterest position that jesus was he never left us abandoned and the sixth thing that happened on the cross was jesus thirst jesus thirst jesus says i thirst many of us think that jesus was thirsting for physical water but no he was thirsting for spiritual souls he was thirsting for you and for me he was thirsting for your salvation and for my salvation and the last the seventh thing that we hear is jesus saying it is finished my mission is accomplished and this is a victorious cry not a sad cry my dear brothers and sisters jesus who said it is finished which means he has accomplished his mission before inaugurating his mission he said the spirit of the lord is upon me he has called me he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor and to anoint the sick and to bring them healing and jesus has completed all that and the greatest thing the greatest healing that he has brought to all of us on the cross is to heal our souls to lead our souls into heaven and the last thing that happened on the cross was jesus was pierced with a lance my brothers and sisters when jesus was pierced with lance the some of the commentators say that jesus had no blood in his body and the blood was so less that it went around the heart and then the water also formed around the heart when the soldiers pierced a heart of jesus both the water and blood came out of his side the water symbolizes baptism which means god desires that everyone to be baptized and to believe in him and the water the blood symbolize purification of all of our sins the blood of jesus which was shed on the cross is for our sanctification for our benefit for our being with god my dear brothers and sisters 
Jesus has given us this wonderful day to reflect about our own salvation and that's why it is called a Good Friday. A Good Friday which is brought good to all of us to enjoy in heaven. If you like this piece of reflection, kindly like, share and contribute. God bless you and have a wonderful day.